everyone i am at the seattle tacoma international airport and on my way to a 5 day trip to alaska we have a flight for anchorage and it is going to take us something around 3 and a half hours i'm really excited about this trip join me we have reached alaska I slept through the flight and I feel really fresh right now and now we are going to take a rental car and we have a hotel booked in Anchorage so let's go we are waiting at the rental car booking area and I caught the first glimpse of snow just outside the airport wow this is so pretty We have reached the hotel and it is very close to the airport but the ride was so amazing like the way we have read about christmas white roads and christmas trees clad with snow it's beautiful Hi there to we are in Alaska Are you liking it Yes Yay It was very cold outside and now we have entered our hotel room which is warm and cozy Now we are going to sleep because we have a long drive to Fairbanks tomorrow early morning. So good night. Good morning, Anchorage. And look at the sky and the trees and the snow. It looks like a plot out of a movie. This is so beautiful. Breakfast time. So currently we are over here and we have to go to Fair Banks, which is here, and that's like an eight-hour drive. We have checked out from our hotel, and it's a sunny and beautiful day. Sunrise happens something around nine, and sunset will happen around two thirty. So we want to travel as much as possible before the daylight fades away, because it's going to be dark and the roads are going to be snowy. We have stopped at Talkeetna Subway to pick up some lunch and the sun is almost about to set. As we are moving towards Fairbanks, the weather is getting cooler. Like you can see there is frozen ice on the glasses and also the bay is becoming even more beautiful. The snow and the trees, everything is looking very very beautiful. It has become very dark and it is snowing as well, and we are another one hour away from our destination, and we are going to stop for dinner. It's Thanksgiving Eve, so we should have something special. We have reached Fairbanks and we have stopped at this place called Pike's Landing for dinner. Do not throw that at me. No. Pike's Landing has been gorgeously decorated with lights and Christmas tree for Thanksgiving. It's looking so pretty. This is what I am eating an Alaskan Alibut burger and these are the options for dessert. Oh my god, I'm spoiled for choices. This is our hotel, Westmark Fairbanks Hotel and Conference Center and this is our room. breakfast time we are checking out from the hotel now and we have a 10 hour drive ahead of us and we are driving to wiseman we have plans to stop at yukon river and the arctic circle in between but since it's cloudy and not much of daylight we do not know how much of it we can cover so let's see
we are going to enter Dalton Highway right now and we are at the entry point. It is very very cold outside. I'm shivering and sitting in the car because I tried putting my hands out of the gloves and clicking pictures but it's totally impossible. You should be that covered in order to stand outside and with my glasses on it's becoming very difficult. There is no signal on my phone anymore and you can look at the trees and understand that the temperature has decreased much much more. Even driving has become much more difficult because each time a car or a truck passes by it creates a smoke of snow like this and that takes quite some time to clear off. Look at the beautiful color of the sky. It looks like it has been water painted. The brown pipeline on the right carries oil from the Arctic Ocean to Fairbanks. We have reached Yukon River Camp and it generally is closed during winters but this year onwards they are open. Walking towards the frozen Yukon River and currently I can barely see anything because my glasses have been covered with fog. This is the Yukon River and thanks to Tirto who has exposed his hands to the cold and captured the beauty of it. Right now I'm eating a very yummy sandwich. We have almost reached Wiseman and Wiseman is another 25 minutes drive from Coldfoot. Wiseman is a very small place and in 2010 census its population was as low as 14. We have finally reached the end of our 10 hour drive and we are entering Arctic Getaway which is our cabin in Wiseman. It is very very cold and the temperature forecast is as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius and it's snowing right now. If you are lucky tonight we can see the northern lights and then tomorrow morning we are going for a sledge ride. After that in the afternoon we will go to the Attigan Pass. And we missed the Arctic Circle today. So while we are returning from Wiseman we will be visiting that too. Everything will come in my next part to Alaska. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.